Burkina Faso is about to shake the continent with their new gold-backed currency. Have you ever wondered if Africa can achieve autonomy from Western influence and ensure that Africans understand their significance in international relations? There seems to be a noticeable lack of this sentiment when dealing with the United States, where a tone of superiority often pervades interactions. Africans are seemingly expected to be grateful for engagement and invitations to events in Washington, fostering a dynamic that must evolve. For more effective engagements, the United States might need to retrain its approach toward Africa, shifting away from this air of superiority that undermines the potential for fruitful collaboration. Burkina Faso, a nation often underestimated, has boldly challenged Western hegemony by introducing its own currency, marking a significant departure from the historical dominance of Western powers over the global economy. This move not only symbolizes reclaiming economic autonomy but also sends a powerful message to Africa and beyond. Yet, the practical implications and success of this decision remain uncertain, raising doubts about its effectiveness. In a surprising turn of events, Burkina Faso is disrupting the global financial landscape with its decisive currency launch, a stark departure from the norm. The country's actions have reverberated globally, as it has deployed specialists to incite unrest in the region, sparking questions about its motives and consequences. The historical fixation of the West on African currencies is deeply rooted in colonialism and economic exploitation. The creation of the CFA franc in 1945 by France exemplifies this, purportedly for economic stability but in reality serving as a tool for economic subjugation, binding Francophone Africa to French economic dictates. The CFA franc not only symbolizes economic ties to the franc but also perpetuates a cycle of dependence and influence, reflecting a narrative of exploitation that demands critical examination. By placing foreign reserves in French banks, former colonies inadvertently surrendered economic control, illustrating a nuanced form of economic neocolonialism that continues through mechanisms like structural adjustment programs imposed by entities such as the IMF and World Bank, fostering dependency on the West and hindering self-reliant economic growth in Africa. However, Burkina Faso's introduction of a new currency stands as a direct affront to this entrenched system. It serves as a declaration that the era of Western hegemony is drawing to a close, at least within this region. The bold currency of Burkina Faso symbolizes more than a mere monetary unit, it embodies the dawn of a new epoch where Africa refuses to adhere to regulations crafted in European capitals. By launching this currency, Burkina Faso asserts its refusal to be ensnared by Western economic doctrines designed to subjugate the continent. Yet, let's not misconstrue the gravity of this move solely within the context of Burkina Faso. It serves as a resounding message to every Western power that has exploited Africa's resources while perpetuating poverty among its populace. It signals Africa's awakening and its readiness to push back against historical injustices. In the wake of Burkina Faso's audacious stride, how will the West react to this disruption of their meticulously maintained status quo? The initial response from Western powers is likely to encompass a blend of denial, dismissal, and desperation. Denial will arise from their failure to anticipate this development, dismissal will stem from attempts to downplay its significance, and desperation will manifest as they realize this could mark the onset of a decline in their unbridled influence over Africa. The opening salvo is anticipated to materialize in the form of economic sanctions. France and its European allies, in particular, are expected to endeavor to stifle Burkina Faso's new currency in its infancy by severing access to international markets, freezing assets, and exerting pressure on multinational corporations to withdraw from the country. This isn't just speculation, it mirrors a well-established playbook. When Zimbabwe moved to reclaim control over its economy, the West swiftly imposed sanctions that undermined the country's economic prospects. The utilization of these tactics has led to prolonged suffering for the citizens of Zimbabwe, Venezuela, Iran, and various other nations that have dared to deviate from the established norms. Burkina Faso, in its defiance, is poised to encounter a comparable onslaught as Western powers strive to quash this nascent uprising before it gains traction. Nonetheless, the hubris of the West may prove to be its own undoing. 
Burkina Faso's leaders, experienced in geopolitics, likely anticipated Western backlash and have likely begun forming new alliances, particularly with rising powers like China and Russia. These nations challenge Western dominance by supporting African sovereignty through investments in projects with fewer restrictions. Unlike the West, China and Russia view Africa as a partner, endorsing initiatives like Burkina Faso's new currency to establish a foothold in the region. As African nations grow more resolute, Western tools of control, aid, loans, and military intervention are losing effectiveness. The African Union, once weak, now shows solidarity in supporting members against external interference. Western strategies are weakening, facing a united and goal-oriented Africa that rejects neocolonial policies. The West aims to isolate Burkina Faso through media and diplomacy, portraying its actions as reckless. However, a growing African unity challenges artificial divisions imposed by colonial powers, signaling a desire for genuine independence. Burkina Faso's bold move could inspire other African nations like Mali, Guinea, Nigeria, and South Africa to pursue similar strategies, unsettling Western powers accustomed to exploiting Africa's fragmented state. If Burkina Faso succeeds in its initiative, it could trigger a wave of similar movements across Africa as nations come to realize that they too can liberate themselves from the economic shackles that have constrained them for so long. This potential revolution holds the promise of reshaping the entire African financial system. Envision an Africa where regional currencies supplant the CFA franc, where African nations engage in trade using their own currencies, and where economic policies are driven by African priorities rather than the mandates of the IMF or World Bank. Such a transformative scenario would present a nightmare for the West, which has historically relied on a fragmented and reliant Africa to uphold its economic dominance. However, for this vision to materialize, African nations must surmount significant hurdles. The infrastructure for such a financial metamorphosis is still nascent, and the risks of economic instability are palpable. Yet, the potential rewards are vast. A continent-wide shift towards economic sovereignty could unlock Africa's true potential, fostering the development of industries, job creation, and the upliftment of millions out of poverty. The African Continental Free Trade Area AFCFTA, is already laying the foundation for enhanced economic integration across the continent. If Burkina Faso's experiment proves successful, it could expedite this integration process, forging a more cohesive and robust African economy capable of standing on equal footing with the West. The AFCFTA signifies a substantial stride towards economic autonomy, but it necessitates robust political determination and the audacity to make decisive moves akin to those witnessed in Burkina Faso. Furthermore, the triumph of Burkina Faso's new currency could embolden other African nations to undertake similar initiatives, further eroding Western dominance over the continent's economic trajectory. The potential for a genuinely independent and self-reliant Africa is within grasp, but it demands a united effort from African leaders to transform this vision into reality. Another pertinent question emerges, what implications does this hold for Western influence in Africa? The signs point towards trouble for the West. For centuries, Western powers have thrived on an Africa that is divided and subservient. However, the tide is shifting. Burkina Faso's new currency is just one indicator that Africa is no longer willing to adhere to the West's rules. The future portends African-led development, where the continent's abundant resources are leveraged for the welfare of its people, rather than being drained to fuel distant economies. This shift will have profound repercussions for Western sway in Africa, spelling the end of exploitative trade dynamics and ushering in an era where African nations develop their industries and value chains. Africa is on the cusp of reshaping its economies to serve its own interests, signaling a potential decline in the West's ability to wield influence through institutions like the IMF and World Bank. These institutions, long viewed as tools of Western domination, may find themselves marginalized as Africa looks towards alternative financing sources such as BRICS nations or intra-African investments. This shift away from Western financial bodies represents a significant setback to Western control, which has historically been exerted through these institutions to enforce its agenda on the continent. 
the waning of Western control in Africa will not only impact economics but also carry political ramifications. The West's historical interference in African affairs, supporting compliant regimes, undermining resistant ones, and resorting to military interventions, will face increasing challenges. Africa is asserting its sovereignty, signaling the dwindling days of Western powers treating the continent as their playground. This shift in power dynamics holds the potential to foster a more balanced and fair global order where Africa assumes a pivotal role in shaping its destiny. Moreover, the diminishing Western influence in Africa could reverberate across global geopolitics. As Africa asserts its independence and confidence, it is likely to seek alignment with other rising powers like China, Russia, and India. This alignment may prompt a restructuring of global power dynamics, with Africa emerging as a key player in defining a new world order. Consequently, the West, traditionally at the helm of global power, may face sidelining as fresh alliances and partnerships take shape. The West is anticipated to resist relinquishing its dominance in Africa, utilizing economic, diplomatic, and potentially military measures to maintain control. However, the unchallenged supremacy of the West is fading as Africa asserts itself, compelling the West to adjust to this evolving landscape or risk falling behind. As Western influence diminishes, Africa faces a critical juncture in shaping its future. The decisions made in the coming years will determine whether the continent breaks free from exploitation and underdevelopment or regresses into familiar pitfalls. Burkina Faso's adoption of a new currency signals progress, yet this is just the start. To unlock its full potential, Africa must advocate for enhanced economic integration, political unity, and social progress. This entails establishing robust regional institutions to promote economic independence. Strengthening bodies like the African Union and regional communities such as ECOWAS is crucial. The East African community must be empowered to lead economic integration. Prioritizing investments in education, infrastructure, and healthcare is vital to ensure a healthy, educated, and empowered population. Africa's youth can excel with proper support, potentially becoming global leaders in technology, renewable energy, and agriculture. Caution is needed to avoid new dependencies, and partnerships with countries like China and Russia should respect Africa's sovereignty. Learning from history, Africa must strive for true independence and self-determination despite facing internal and external challenges. The continent is at a turning point, offering a unique opportunity to carve a new path forward under leaders like those in Burkina Faso who defy past limitations. As we gaze towards the future, one fact remains unequivocal, Africa is ascending. Burkina Faso's audacious move signals a forthcoming era where the continent is poised to claim its spot on the global stage, not as a follower but as a leader. While the West may attempt to impede this momentum, the currents of history are shifting. Africa's moment has arrived, irreversible and resolute. Thanks for watching till the end. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like a well a sub so more people can see this.